2023. Happy New Year, everyone. For people who are watching now, anyway, if you're watching in a few months or maybe later on in the year, probably isn't a Happy New Year for you. But anyway, 2023, I wanted to go through an office workspace tour, going through my setup and showing you all the gear that I have and the way I have everything set up. So my office is actually a sort of office slash studio that I used to obviously record videos for the channel. And this is located inside a warehouse. So out there is a warehouse. It's around two and a, two and a half thousand square feet. So that's the warehouse and I've just sort of built an office in the back slash studio in the back. I set up this space specifically for making videos, making content and stuff like that. So it's quite a dark space. It's also isolated. I have sound panels in the ceiling. So yeah, really nice sort of custom built space for me so that I can make great YouTube videos. Well, YouTube videos the way that I like. Obviously with it being quite dark in here, the main reason for that is so that I can control the light. I don't want to have to keep changing lighting, have to keep changing lenses and stuff to get the lighting right. I want to be able to control the light. That's why I have it set up, set up the way I do. I work here a few days a week. I don't work here every single day. That will change soon though, as I've hired a videographer slash video assistant. So I'll most likely be working here every day. But yeah, it's nice to be able to have a proper space where I can just focus on making videos, making content. It's really, really nice. So let's get started with my desk setup itself. I have a flexi spot standing desk. I bought this from Amazon. It actually originally came with a black top, but I ended up switching it out to a gray one. Even though it's a standing desk, I actually rarely use it as a standing desk, but it's nice to have the functionality there when I need it. The top itself is a graphite gray desktop that's 180 centimeters wide and 80 centimeters deep. It's pretty big for a desk, but that's what I wanted. I have the space in the office for a large desk. It's also just nice having all this room for activities. I much prefer this gray top over the previous black one as well. I think it looks cleaner whilst also not looking so dark. Really happy with this desk right now. Knowing me though, it will probably be different in a year's time, but we'll see. When it comes to cable management, there are a lot of cables to manage for this setup. So I've tried my best to hide them. Underneath the desk, I've mounted a fully cable tray, which holds the power strip and any excess cables. I also have a cable trunk to contain all of the cables that run to the floor. Actually a very good way to make sure there aren't cables hanging all over the place. I also have an under desk storage shelf, which is stuck on with 3M tape. A good way to add some quick access storage to a desk. I put things in here that I regularly need access to, such as cables, a microfiber cloth, and my Aesop hand balm. I highly recommend this Aesop hand balm, by the way. It smells incredible. My main laptop driving this setup is the 14 inch macbook pro very happy with this machine and the power it outputs it doesn't stutter ever in any of my workflows really i have it sitting on a gather laptop stand super clean and premium laptop stand made from steel and walnut i then have the macbook connected to an anchor thunderbolt dock which is mounted to the bottom of the desk this is a pretty epic dock actually it has a bunch of ports so that i can connect pretty much anything to it it acts as an in-between for my MacBook and my monitor, so it's a one cable setup. I just have to attach the one Thunderbolt cable to my MacBook and anything that's connected to my dock or my monitor is ready to go. It's been solid. I've had it since I've moved into the office over a year and a half ago and I've not had any issues. By the way, for anyone interested in the wallpaper, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. It's from my Holographics wallpaper pack. Really big fan of this wallpaper pack and it seems you guys love it too as it's been very popular. My monitor is the Pro Display XDR. It's a 32 inch 6K Retina display and it is absolutely stunning. And so it should be considering it cost me a whopping four and a half thousand pounds. It is ridiculously expensive, but there is nothing else like it. 6K resolution displays simply don't exist and it can go up to 1600 nits of peak brightness and it has a bunch of other pro features that are obviously designed for pro users. Is it worth it? Probably not, but I also think it's quite relative because if you're someone who is a high-end creative, high-end Mac user or whatever, maybe you work in a super professional environment where you're editing movies or doing creative work or whatever, maybe it might be worth it because maybe the money that you're making making an investment like this is seen as very small. But I think for most other people, for the average consumer, yeah, it's definitely not worth it. It's definitely clearly targeted at high-end pro, pro users. I like it though, very happy with it so far. The 6K resolution is just fantastic. It also looks downright awesome. It's a good looking monitor. Thanks to Mailjet for sponsoring this video. Mailjet is an easy to use email marketing platform for designing, sending, and monitoring marketing campaigns, newsletters, and automated emails. You can create and send beautiful emails without having to touch a single line of code. Mailjet's email editor makes it easy to create engaging email campaigns, newsletters, and automated emails in minutes. 
you can leverage an array of beautiful pre-designed templates so you can have more time to focus on growing your business. You can increase your workflow efficiency by collaborating in real time. You can streamline the email creation process, accelerate decision making and get your emails out faster with MailJet's innovative collaboration features designed for teams. Segmentation. With MailJet's segmentation feature, you can send targeted messages based on each customer's interests, attributes and behaviours. Automation. You can streamline your email workflow so you can engage with new and existing customers at the right moment with the right message. You can automate emails so they arrive in inboxes as recipients hit important milestones in their customer journey. Statistics get actionable insights to create your most engaging email campaigns track the performance of your email marketing campaigns in real time and learn about your customers behaviors so you can optimize your strategy and increase your conversion rates so if you're interested in trying out mailjet i'll leave a link to it down in the description below and you can try it out for free either side of my monitor i have the bose companion speakers unfortunately it looks like you can't buy these anymore i can't find them anywhere online They've removed them from Bose's website, which is such a shame. I bought these back in 2015, so they're pretty old now, but they still sound absolutely incredible. There's two drivers in each unit, and there's also an external sub, which really helps with the low end. Even though the speakers are small, they give out sound which feels a lot larger. I really like the compactness of this setup. It was a key deciding factor when buying them, as I didn't want large speaker monitors on my desk. It also includes this neat little volume puck, which can mute the speakers by tapping the top, you can also rotate the rubber dial to adjust the volume and there's a headphone input as well as an auxiliary input. Even seven years later, I think these speakers look really good, which is quite surprising as old tech doesn't usually age well. My desk lamp isn't necessarily a desk lamp. It's the Logi Lytra Beam, which is actually a key light that is designed for streaming. So if you're someone who does streaming, uploads videos to YouTube from your desk or even does a lot of Zoom calls and you need a compact key light, this is it. You can change the brightness and color of the light to get it just right and of course adjust the angle it's pretty awesome i like to use it in sort of different scenarios like like i have right now as a desk lamp or sometimes i like to use it to take pictures or whatever it's a really nice lamp my charging station is the native union snap wireless charger it's actually pretty difficult finding good looking wireless chargers like this it has MagSafe, so I can wirelessly charge my phone, but also see it on my desk whilst I'm working. It also has an AirPods tray for wirelessly charging AirPods and an Apple Watch charger, so I can charge all of my devices all at once. Below the monitor and in front of my keyboard, I have the Gather Organizer set. It consists of a square tray for any little accessories, a zigzag tray for holding pens and other sort of things like that and a phone stand. It matches the aesthetic perfectly. I really like it. I think it's awesome. The whole set is pretty awesome. When it comes to my keyboard, mouse and desk mat, I have a full grain leather desk mat from ULXstore.com. Full disclosure, this is from my own store. My current keyboard is the Apple Magic Keyboard and the mouse is the Magic Mouse. I seem to be one of the only ones that loves the Magic Mouse. Maybe I'm just weird. I'm not really sure. But <laughs> over the last 10 years that I've been using it, I've never had any issues with it. I've never had any hand problems. I can completely understand why other people do because of the grip of it. But yeah, I love it. I feel like it also works with macOS perfectly. Next to the desk, I have a drawer unit from Ikea. This drawer unit is on wheels, which is ideal for my studio as I move around stuff a lot when making content. Made from all metal and it has three drawers, which gives me a good amount of additional storage. The top of the unit also acts as a shelf and it has a lip around the sides and the back so that things don't slide off. My current office chair is the Herman Miller Aeron. I can't praise this chair enough. It's so worth the money and by far the best office chair that I've ever used. I've adjusted the settings on it so it's perfect for my weight. The key is to adjust it so that when you sit upright in it, it supports you, but at the same time, when you lean back, it feels effortless. The Air One is definitely the ultimate office chair. I don't think there is anything else out there that can beat it. Wanted to give you a quick walk around of the rest of the space. So that light obviously isn't usually there. I just had that right now because I needed to light the space, of course. But next to my desk, I have a Dwell sideboard made from walnut and marble. It's really nice, I really like this. Gives me some additional space as well, some additional storage. On top of that, I have some books, some smart speakers. I also have this Samsung Frame TV. So this is actually a small one, 32 inch Samsung Frame TV. The plan is to mount this on the wall. So it looks like it's part of the other artworks that I have here, the other pictures. These pictures are my own pictures. I shot myself, yeah, just a few pictures I've put on the wall and then a Dyson fan for when it gets either hot or cold in here because we don't have AC in this warehouse. So that basically just keeps us warm or cold. A little lamp in the corner over there. And then I also have a sofa here. So I do have friends come over regularly and you know, they'll come around, sit on the sofa, have a chat, whatever. 
above that I have a shelf from Muto and on that shelf I have a framed piece of artwork it's the iPhone 4s taken apart uh, my YouTube black and some books as well so that is that space let me move back so you can see the whole space that is that side of my office basically my own little area my own workspace sort of area it's nice and cozy I think I like the space if I actually turn around I'll show you the rest of the space so this is the other side of the studio another desk setup here for Charlie he works there and this is where I shoot the A-roll for my channel for this channel all of the gear over there you can see there was a lot of gear a lot of cables <laughs> a lot of stuff over there I won't go in depth with this space but yeah that's where I shoot a lot of the videos that you see on this channel and yeah that is pretty much it for my office workspace tour going through my setup going through my studio how I have things set up if you have any suggestions maybe I can make something better maybe I can change something maybe you have product ideas or whatever please leave them in the comments below I'm always interested to hear about other people's thoughts I'll of course leave links to everything that I possibly can there might not be some things that I can link to because maybe they just don't exist anymore but I'll try and leave links to everything that I can in the description below Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.